Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. Okay, so chapter six, pre-flight check for the upgrade. We are on step one, super pin to adjustment, part one. Uh, we wanna make sure printer is turned off, not plugged in. While moving the extruder, the X-axis motor works as a generator. You'll create a small amount of electricity. LCD will flicker, move it slowly move the extruder manually all the way to the left. By rotating both threads at the same time on the z-axis, move the nozzle until you reach the heat bed. Okay, so we're going to try to get this to touch the heat bed. And we have no build plate on it, and that's what they are recommending. Okay, you can see that the nozzle is touching. Check again from another angle. Yeah, I mean, it's good. Don't place the steel sheet to wait for the calibration. Move the extruder carefully all the way to the right. Are you kidding me? Okay. Pinda kind of kind of catches. Make sure the nozzle is not scratching. Oh, well, I guess I could have been careful about that because I think I did scratch. Um, you can lower or raise. Yeah, I mean, I'm still. Oh, I'm going too far now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm good. Do we need to be a hair above it? All right, move the extruder to the center. Take a zip tie and place it under the super pinda sensor. Use the middle part of the zip tie and not the tip. Okay, so we're gonna put the zip tie underneath, yeah. Okay, so I need to loosen the screw. Gently press it against the zip tie. Uh-huh. Tighten the screw. Okay, I mean, it looks good to me. That's what I got. Step four, download the necessary software. So I updated the Prusa slicer and flashed the printer with the newest firmware as well. And I kind of realized I haven't done this in a while and it seems a little bit outdated compared to the USB flashing on the XL and the Mark IV but I got it done. I've got it turned on and I'm ready to load the filament. I already have it heated up. I'm just loading with white and it looks like it's loading okay. I had the filament sensor turned off, so now I'm going to turn it on and see if everything works. Okay. So now I want to do the first layer calibration. And it's telling me to please load the filament first. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit here. First layer calibration, continue. It's asking me to load the filament. I'm going to unload. Okay, so now I want to auto load.
and make sure it's sharp enough. It's just like not catching at all. Okay, so it will load if I have the filament sensor turned off. So if I go back to filament sensor, yeah, off, turn that on. Yeah, it'll of course load if it doesn't have to sense anything. If it doesn't have to sense anything, it's fine. So if I want to load the filament, right now I have the filament sensor off. It won't even let me do a first layer calibration. I'm loaded and it won't, yes or no won't work. So I feel like the filament sensor has some issues. Um, I had it turned off previously and I don't really remember why I turned it off, which probably means that it was not a great filament sensor anyways. Plus I did feel like as I was changing everything out, I just found myself bumping it a lot because it was on the top. Um, as I was trying to screw things on, I tried really hard to be careful of it, but I just felt like maybe I was being a little too rough with it. So, I'm, I'm assuming that's my problem. I'm assuming that the filament sensor is the issue. There were multiple parts in the steps that said I needed to use the new red one and I did not have that one. So I think I'm gonna order it and see how quick I can get it here and plan to swap that out. The other thing that it could be is the fact that I printed things in orange rather than black. Um, I did print whichever part it said needed to be printed in black, but everything else was orange. So maybe that's having some issues. Um, but I'm gonna try the, the sensor first because I can print with this. It will let me start a print and I'll have to adjust my, my calibration by just doing a Z setting, but it will start printing. Let's see. It does start printing. It looks like it's going through all the calibration steps. So I'm just gonna have to really keep an eye on it and hope that my Z offset doesn't just immediately cause a problem. I do need to wipe that little bit of blob off of it too. Sorry, you can hear so many dog toenails in the background. So it will print and I'll have to adjust things on the Z. If I was not trying to add the MMU, I would probably be fine with this. I would just run with filament sensor off and not care. But I don't think it's even possible to run with the filament sensor off for an MMU. I don't think that that's possible. So I need to get this figured out. So once I get that one in, I'm going to test it out. Let me know your thoughts. If you think I missed anything, thanks for watching.